You know, when I came to Miami, I was looking around. It was Cuban, 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 Cuban. My cousin and I. Everybody around was Cuban. I even saw a black guy. I said, "Hey, bro." He said, "Okay." I said, "Where are you from?" He said, "Cuban." Even the blacks in this town were Cuban. <laughs> My first impression of Cubans was they are the cheapest people you've ever seen. I see four guys sharing a cup of coffee. <laughs> the cup is this big. Pouring it in cups this big. I mean, what the hell? I tell my cousin, are those people really that cheap? He got me a colada. I was up for two weeks. <laughs> but you know, I didn't have a green card, and when you don't have a green card, they teach you in the military back home camouflage. What's camouflage in Miami? Look, Cuban. <laughs> I get my beads. I got my wire vera. I gained 20 pounds so that it opens up right here. I got my tobacco. I put three pens in my pocket. I put a hole in the pocket that where the key sticks out. I had a white pair of shoes from Payless Shoe Store, the shiny ones, you know? Then I started learning about Cubans from the best reality show of all times. Que pasa, USA? <laughs> There I am. I covered the sofa with plastic. I put a San Lazaro this big by the window. I go to a botanica, I buy two candles. They're still burning since 1979. I don't know what's in those damn candles, man. And to carry it even further, I go to Homestead, buy myself a rooster. But that redneck rooster would work me up at the crack of dawn. I made Caldo the guy a soup out of it. I went to Hialeah. I went and bought myself a Cuban rooster from Hialeah, man. <laughs> it, it, 30 before that thing got up. <laughs> man, it used to adjust for daylight savings, you know? I bought some chickens. I even asked the woman, I said, why did the chicken cross the street? Joking around, she goes, Manolito, who left the door open? <laughs> I grabbed my rooster, my rooster would go into the chicken coop at midnight. It was awesome, he had a little mohawk. It was prettier than all the chicks. Everybody loved my cock. <laughs> and you know how people say that Cubans are always late? Cuban women always come early. <laughs> uh, Cuban men come early too. <laughs> That's what I heard. That's what I heard. You know, but in the years I've been in Miami, I learned a lot about Cubans, you know. There are two types of Cuban men. Ones that are willing to break the law. I haven't met the other type. <laughs> and there are two types of Cuban women. Nymphomaniacs, I haven't met the other type. <laughs> but speaking of nymphomaniacs, I went out with a Cuban girl one time. When I was at Miami Dade, she took me to her house. It's very exciting for a Middle Eastern man to be in a woman's house. You get killed for that shit back home. <laughs> and, and we're making out, I'm like, wow, you know, and then she goes, oh, puppy, I jumped out the window. <laughs> she comes running, where are you going, man? I said, your dad is gonna kill me. She goes, my dad is not here. I said, you said puppy. She's like, that's a term of excitement. I'm like, you make love to me and fantasize about your father? <laughs> That's not right, you know. 